So we have our next question which says given the following entry in the SAS log and we have been provided with a screenshot of the log file after running a prop transpose procedure. And the question is which alternate method could you use to transpose all the data and not produce a warning message in the log. So there are two conditions that have to be met. One is transpose all the data and the second one is to not produce a warning message in the log. So we actually have a warning message in the log which says two observations omitted due to missing ID values. So here the code that was submitted when this warning was generated is a transpose step. So in this vitals data set is used as input and a data set named tresp is being created by specifying it on the out is equal to option. And at the same time in the output data set the default automatic variable underscore label underscore is being dropped. And the data set is transposed such that the investigator number and patient ID values remain as rows. And on the ID statement visit variable is specified. So we know that the values in the visit variable will become the names of the newly created variables. And on the var statement resp resp variable is specified. This makes us that the values in the resp variable will get transposed. So when we specify a variable on the ID statement the values become the newly created variable names. So as we cannot have a variable with a null value, so what happens when we specify ID statement with a variable, all the records which have null values in the variable specified on the ID statement will be ignored. So we are getting the, this warning just because of the same reason which we discussed now. So the question here is to transpose all the data and not produce any warning message in the log. So there are only two possible ways in which you can restructure data in SAS. One is to use transpose procedure and the second one is to use data step with conditional output statements. And when we have a lot of similar variables to be transposed, we can make use of arrays along with the conditional output statements within the data step. So let us take a look at the options and see which is close to our understanding. So the first option says use proc transpose with a where clause to omit records with missing visit values. So the option is suggesting us to exclude the records which has missing visit values. But the condition was to transpose all data and we cannot exclude the records with missing visit values. So this option is not correct. And the second option says use proc copy with select statements. Proc copy cannot be used to transpose data but in fact it is used to copy data sets from one library to the other library. And the third option suggests use proc data sets with select and modify statements. So proc data sets can be used to modify some of the attributes and of selected data sets. So we can use the modify statement to specify the name of the data set for which we want to modify some of the data set or variable level attributes but we cannot tweak upon the observation. So in fact the proc data sets cannot be used to transpose data. And the final option says use a data step with conditional output statements. So this is the closest answer and the, seems to be correct. Let us check if this is the correct answer or not. It says our response was correct.